Hello and welcome back to another English lesson, a number one news lesson. Today I have a wonderful story about a place in Taiwan. And I went to Taiwan recently and it's such a great place to visit. So I'm very excited to bring you this story today. So every month I bring you another number one news lesson. It's a really great way to improve your vocabulary, your reading and also your writing. I'd love to see you join the rest of my students here. So make sure you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and also the bell. The headline of today's news article is 96 year old man saves his village by painting it. And it's a wonderful story I found on the BBC and I'll leave the link to the full story in the description below. But here's a little taste. Let's begin by learning the vocabulary for today. I have 22 new words for you, so let's get started. Bustling. So two syllables and we stress the first one. Bustling. It's an adjective and it means or we use it to describe a place that is full of a lot of activity. It's busy. Resident, three syllables, and we stress the first one. Resident, it's a noun, and it's a person who lives somewhere permanently. So you're a resident of your town. Former, two syllables, we stress the first one. Former, it's an adjective, and it means previously been something. So I'm a former student. I used to be a student, but I'm not now. So I'm a former student. Elderly, three syllables. Also stress the first one, elderly. And it means old, it's an adjective. But it refers to old people. Demolish, three syllables, demolish. And we stress the second one, demolish. It's a verb. It means to knock down or destroy. It's the opposite of build, demolish. Paintbrush, well this is a noun and it's this, drab. Drab. This is an adjective with just one syllable. Drab. It means dull or boring. Cement. Two syllables and we stress the second one. Cement. It's a noun and it's the mix of water and sand and gravel to make concrete. Cement. Pavement, two syllables and we stress the first one. Pavement, it's a noun and it's the path for pedestrians, that's people, not cars, on the side of the road. It's also called sidewalk and footpath. Mural, mural. This is a noun with two syllables and we stress the first one, mural. And it's a painting directly onto a wall, bungalow, bungalow. Three syllables and we stress the first one, bungalow. 
it's a noun and it has a few different meanings depends where you live but generally it's a small house very low to the ground so not usually more than one story spill and this is a verb and it's often used for liquid when it in my cup when it comes over the edge of the container spill it can also be for something or people to move out of somewhere quickly for example people began to spill out of the cinema after the film abandoned abandoned three syllables it's an adjective so we stress the second syllable abandoned it means deserted or left alone bulldozer this is a noun we stress the first syllable bulldozer and it's a powerful tractor it looks like this fundraising it's a noun three syllables we stress the first one fundraising fund is money so raising money so it's seeking money for a charity or a cause fundraising campaign two syllables we stress the second one and in this case it's a noun and it's a planned group of activities to achieve an aim so for example a political campaign or an election campaign launch just one syllable and in this case a verb and it means to start something like a campaign to launch a campaign petition petition three syllables and we stress the second one petition it's a noun or verb and it's a formal written request for something or to change something usually signed by lots of people passion two syllables and we stress the first one passion it's a noun and it's a strong and intense desire or enthusiasm for something citizen a noun citizen and uh, three syllables and we stress the first one citizen and it's a person legally recognized as living in a particular town city or country so i am an australian citizen okay last word preserve this is a verb and two syllables we stress the second one preserve and it means to keep something in its original condition or state to preserve something to keep it the same way that's a lot of new words if you want to practice them remember you can go over to the websites where I will have all the words and examples and flashcards all for free but I know first you want to hear the article so let's read it together many years ago Nan Tun district Tai Chung was a bustling village with over 1200 homes most of the residents in the village were former soldiers who were given temporary housing by the government however as the years passed most people moved away except for one elderly man Huang Yung Fu the government started to demolish the empty village to sell to developers until there were only 11 homes left 
Then Huang received a letter from the government ordering him to leave. He had no family and nowhere to go. It was the only home he had known for 40 years. So when he received the letter, at the age of 86, he picked up a paintbrush and started painting. Every morning for the last 10 years, Huang has woken up at 4 a.m. and slowly painted the drab cement walls, pavement and windows with playful murals in bright colours. He started with a little bird in his bungalow, then some cats, people and aeroplanes. His colourful creations began to spill outside and onto the village's abandoned buildings and streets. One night in 2010, as Huang painted under the moonlight, a student from a nearby university discovered the elderly artist and learned of his lonely battle to defend the village from the government's bulldozers with a paintbrush. He took some photographs of his work and started a fundraising campaign to purchase as much paint for Huang as possible and launched a petition to protest the demolition. People were amazed at the artist's passion and he became known as Grandpa Rainbow. After a few months, Tai Chung's mayor had received 80,000 emails from citizens asking him to preserve the village. It worked and in October 2010, the mayor ordered the remaining 11 buildings, streets and surrounding areas to be preserved as a public park. Since saving the village, Huang, now 96 years old, still wakes up at 4am every day to paint the village. Every year, more than one million people come to see him and his colourful village. He says, There are many things that I can't do anymore, but I can still paint. It keeps me healthy and adding a little colour can turn something old into something beautiful. All right, I have a few questions for you to check your understanding. Number one, why did Huang start painting his village? Number two, how did it become famous? Number three, why does he still continue to paint? I also have a few more questions over on this website. If you are an advanced student, you can try these questions. To answer them, you'll need to read the original article on the BBC website. Don't forget, I'm now teaching a live lesson every Wednesday here on YouTube and on Facebook. So if you have any questions about this lesson, you can ask me there. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy studying. Bye.